Hi there, Narcissist Ninjas here, just stepping in to say hello and to give an update. Uh, have been doing a lot of reflecting lately. Uh, it has been so difficult uh, kind of absorbing the different cases that have been in the media. And uh, I guess I feel in some ways that I'm obligated to follow different cases just because I feel I'm an educator of narcissism. That's what I am um, kind of putting my energy towards for probably the rest of my life. Unless something changes, that's the direction it's going. So in that way, I feel I have to study cases. And it's also something I want to do and that I, I, I feel... Um, a lot of passion for but it, it's uh, been very difficult with the cases that have been coming up lately for some reason there's like case after case and they're very traumatic and uh, each one is special each person um, that's been a victim of narcissism it's just it's horrific it's horrific and sometimes you know I get to the point where I take a, a, a gasp of air and I say why do some of us escape it why do we like survive when others just don't make it you know it's baffling to me when I look at some situations and realize I realize I was in very similar situations and made it out alive uh, in some cases by the skin of my teeth. So uh, I've been reflecting and one of the things I've been thinking about and, and also not just uh, crimes that have been committed but also different things that are going on like on social media and different uh, so-called influencers and different just different situations that I kind of analyzed. Uh, I realized this thing and that my personal belief since becoming an educator of narcissism is that not everyone deserves our empathy. And then I hear, what do you say? Not everyone deserves empathy? What? We're all human. We're all on this world and we all deserve the same things. I used to think that. I used to think that. Uh, I just don't anymore. And I... Don't get me wrong, yes, abusers can't, are people. They've had a set, cir set, cir set of circumstances that probably created who they have become, right? So we say, well, compassion. We're in the world. Have you seen? A truly disgusting narcissist turn it around and become a good person now granted you can you can see people that do things like recover from alcoholism recover from various mental illnesses and uh, frailties and recover from different things and become better people but when you're talking about a true blue psychopathic uh, in some cases murderous but not always abusive person they 
do not change. At the core of who they are, they are who they are, and they do not change. So, the bottom line is that while you are putting your energy into trying to save the narcissist, trying to help the narcissist, trying to uh, get him to see the error of his or her ways, many of his victims or her victims are going unchecked, are going neglected are going continually abused you are not helping the world in my opinion if your focus in your personal wor world is trying to save a narcissist and get them to see that their behavior is wrong i can this is what i can see energy putting when you're dealing with a narcissist gathering data, gathering information, gathering different behaviors, things that can help you understand that, that illness and that focus and that way of being so that you can alter your own existence so that you can survive and avoid it at all costs. That is the only reason to interact with a narcissist, in my opinion. And I would leave it to other narcissists, um, professionals, uh, the legal system, Leave it to all of those people to deal with them. Um, I have had so much freedom from saying no. My energy is not going that way. Bottom line is that narcissistic people, whether they are uh, diagnosed or undiagnosed, or whether they just have traits of narcissism, or whether they have other all-encompassing uh, disorders that have um, 
elements of narcissism to them. All of it. Okay. Mostly the cluster Bs, I guess. I don't know. Um, I always say the cluster B is a cluster. <laughs> but giving that the majority of people in those categories do not have empathy for anyone else. Do not give a rat's ass if you live or die. Who enjoy pain inflicted upon humans, both emotional, physical, and any other kind that they can come up with, right? Knowing that, why are you as a person, why, if your focus is to try to forgive and try to help and try to placate the narcissist, try to uh, get them to see how wrong they are. To me, that's a disorder of itself. And I do believe there's an element of uh, a lot of us who are so empathetic um, that that is an illness as well that is a disorder when your empathy is beyond reason and believe me i've been there for many years it's taken me so much hard work so many sacrifices and believe me i'm still paying the price for some of these sacrifices but no matter how bad things are or get i still have an element of freedom inside my soul when i say when i encounter a narcissist Number one, they are repelled by me, which I love. I love it. And maybe that will pass in time. But right now, I relish in the fact that when I come face to face or whatever, I'm on whatever, uh, with a nurse, another narcissist, they are repelled by me. And that in itself tells me that I'm doing good boundary work. Uh, and that... I am healing. That is my, uh, that's my uh, kind of monitor or my um, kind of temperature check of whether or not I'm healing or not is when I come away smiling after dealing with a narcissist and they go away feeling really frustrated. And that to me, is where I, I hope all previous victims get to that level. Um, especially anyone who's ever been victimized in the past, you trying to um, change a narcissist is, or try to be in the energy field of even a narcissist tells me that your healing has not taken place for one, unfortunately, and I wish, I hope it happens soon. And it also tells me that your boundaries are not where they should be. I love this newfound element of boundaryism. I call it boundaryism because I'm learning about boundaries. I never in my life knew what they were, understood them. Um, and to now be empowered to say no, to say that is unacceptable behavior. You're not doing that in my presence. You either make a different choice or get to the other side of the earth. You know, like those kinds of things now, being able to say those things after so many years of not saying them is such a gift. And I can choose what to take in, what to absorb, and what to stay outside of me. And I can walk away on a, in a second if things are um, hairy or I get a suspicion that there's a narc around me. Oh, gosh. My final ref reflection tonight is for... Um, not just Gabby Petito and Summer Wells, but also for the 
many victims, all victims who are out there still struggling and still trying to enmesh their energies with narcissists and trying to survive it. And also for the other ones who are uh, setting themselves up, trying to change other narcissists and putting their energy in the wrong direction. Uh, those are the ones that uh, have my heart and have my hope uh, that they'll stop doing that. Peace, everyone. Talk soon. I would love to hear from you guys. Come on. More interaction. I know you're out there. I know you are. All right. Night, guys.